So how do you read a Betfair graph and how can Betfair graphs help you make better money making decisions when it comes to horse racing and football betting? This video answers all of those questions while showing you an example how I made £20 using the Betfair charts myself. So Betfair graphs can be found via API products or the Betfair website as seen on screen here. You just have to go to any exchange market and tap the three little bars on the left next to your selection to bring up a chart like this. So here we've got Sedgefield, uh, one o'clock. Let's take a look at the Betfair chart just to show you what I'm talking about. Now there are three main points on any chart that you need to bear in mind. You've got the pricing, the time and the volume. Okay, the volume is extremely important as many long-term followers of this channel will know because volume represents a sentiment in the marketplace and what is actually happening, where people are willing to put their money down. So that's all good, but how do you make sense of these diff three different variables? Well, first of all, you've got the volumes shown along the bottom there in the gray bars. That is the amount of money that is matched at that price at that point in time. Which brings me on to the second point, time, which is generally a problem when it comes to Betfair charts and graphs because the time axis is not consistent along the bottom there. That's the most important thing you need to remember when looking at these because it could be that the first half of the graph on the left there is three hours leading up to the start of this race or a football match uh, and the last half could be the last 10 minutes, depending on how much activity there has been in the marketplace. Okay, and then the third variable is a price along the left, um, which is obviously shown in decimals. So you can see in this example, around about halfway through that chart, at 3.25, about 200 pounds was matched. The downside being we don't know the exact time that that £200 was matched. Now I've been doing this for a very long time as a professional Betfair trader so I know typically how these markets function but I've got a different example to show you on screen here to highlight exactly what I'm saying. So if we look at second wind, ironically a horse that's running later on uh, the same day here, on the left hand side of this chart is the three, four hours leading up to the start of the horse race. Okay, you can see that there's very low amounts of volume matched on this horse um, at prices between sort of 2.5 up to around about three. Okay, so that was a long steady progression and low amounts of money were matched on the horse during that time. On the right hand side of this uh, graph, you've got the last 20 minutes before the start or thereabouts, which you can see is where the activity is picked up, significantly more volume has been matched and you can see the prices at which it's matched. And that's why you end up with this kind of out and then in on the chart because the real activity, the majority of volume that's been matched on this Betfair graph is on the right hand side there, leading up to the live shows when all the action and the activity is around this particular horse race. Now this is exactly the same, goes the same for every single sport. And this is why new sports traders or bettors when they first come across these graphs on the exchange become quite confused. Now. They are extremely useful when it comes to making up your opinion and you compare them against each other within the same marketplace as I'll show you now in just a second and also with this uh, £20 cash out or trade if you like on this particular horse race. But before I do, if I can just ask you to like this video and subscribe to the channel down below if you find it useful and you want to see more content like it. We're not sponsored so there's very little benefit to uploading these videos unless you guys are actually enjoying them. So let's go back to this example and how you can use these Betfair graphs to make up your own opinion and decide where the price is likely to go, where the market activity is and where the money's going down. One of the most important points to remember is lots of smaller grey bars, lots of smaller volume matches are more important than one big spike. Okay, It could be that one VIP, one high profile punter, um, it doesn't necessarily mean they're shrewd, has put a lot of money down and that will show us one big spike on the graph. So that can be considered an outlier in most cases. Um, so we're looking for lots of smaller or medium sized matches going in one particular direction over a period of time uh, with the price actually moving to look for what's known as a swing in price. I'm then comparing them between the different horses in this particular race to form an overall opinion. So you can see here on screen, the favorite Malpass has been drifting out, if that's how you pronounce it correctly. Alternately, you've got Cooper's Cross, which has been quite stagnant. You've got Cook the Bookies, or Cook the Books, sorry, which has come in slightly. You can see there's a little bit of money come for that, not a lot. Uh, and then we're getting into the outsiders where there's actually very little money matched on them altogether. So in this instance, I'm looking at this very early on in the morning, mid-morning prices, live shows just coming out. Go okay, look, the favorites drifting here. There's a touch of money for some of the others, uh, but it is showing 
in a consistent basis with them pushing against each other. So that shows us that it's likely on this graph, uh, it's given us a hint that the price is likely to continue at this point in time. Along with a few other factors, which I'm not gonna put on YouTube, we keep it in some of our premium content over on my website. You can find a link in the description down below for the horse racing video course. So if we look at my order history in this example here, uh, I laid mile pass at an average odds of 3.71 mid morning. Um, I took my entry after seeing the Betfair graphs activity there. Uh, I started to lay mile pass at 3.5, although the average stake went on for 3.71 for 150 pounds. Uh, came back a couple of hours later, the price has continued to drift outward uh, and I backed mile pass again. Average odds of 3.28 for 130 pounds. This means if we deduct 130 from the 150, being our staking, we're left with 20 pounds profit. And if we deduct the 406 pounds liability outlay against the 426 profit, all before the start of this horse race, we would have also been in 20 pound profit. So it's 20 pound if we win, 20 pound if uh, the, if, sorry, 20 pound if Malpass wins, 20 pound if Malpass loses. Uh, there's a couple of pence deducted on that because obviously you can see there's a, a seven pound bet uh, match that, that was in the alternate trade on Cooper's cross there. Um, total leaving us up for 19 pounds 89. So that is how I used a Betfair graph to pick an entry point into a drifting price in a horse racing market. It can also be done on football and then cash out or trade out for a profit. And lo and behold, looking at the horse racing results, uh, this favourite or previous favourite this morning, Malpass, didn't even finish in the top three, which does leave you wondering sometimes, did somebody know this morning ahead of time that this horse was a bit of a donkey? So some useful stuff there, but hang around a bit longer because here in the end screen, we've got an even better video that will show you how to beat a sportsbook's odds every single time.